So today in this video I will gonna show you how to create a motion blur lens effect in lens studio. So creating this there may be different ways of creating this but after watching Ben's tutorial about blur at first I was confused like how to make it in latest version though at first I was not getting how to do it then after watching several times then I got the idea you can watch Ben's video and learn more about lens studio link is given in the description box now let's begin here first of all click on render target and then right click on your mouse and duplicate the render target rename it blur and then go to right hand side and change the clear color option to texture and then click on it and choose the original render target and then go object panel and choose screen image and then drag and drop above the camera and then select camera and go to render target click on it and choose blur and then open orthographic camera choose screen image and then on the right hand side on the texture choose blur after then click on restart you will see white background so how to fix this so simply go to left hand side and then go scene config and in under render order just drag and drop the render target above and then restart it you will see the white background will gone but blur effect is not visible no worry just go to screen image and then reduce the alpha as you like it but for now i am keeping it 0.90 Hara now you can see the motion blur effect has come but what about the color like black and white which will make the blur more attractive so for black and white color it's very simple it's already in lens studio as default but before showing i want to thank mike sir through his tutorial about how to add colors in lenses i came to know so guys if you want to learn more about colors or lenses check out sir video link is in the description box so let's begin so to add color simply go to object panel and then scroll down and in color correction choose black and white you can see the color is overlapping with the effect so how to fix this issue simply select the perceptive camera drag and drop above the orthographic camera but still it's overlapping no worry just open the perceptive camera select the black and white color and then go to inspector and change the default layer to orthographic layer wow now you see the black and white color has come in the effect you can reduce the alpha to see the original color and black and white color so this is all about the default color of lens studio which is located in lens studio as we see there are many others colors too but how to add your own lut in your effect so simply click on texture and click on plus sign and then from the files choose your any lut if you have created it for now i am choosing my own black and white lut which i had created in photoshop can see the changes in the color it's little bit more dark and shady so check out this is default black and white color of lens studio and this is my black and white lut you can clearly see the difference and yes if want my lut please read the description carefully to access this lut so here like how to create it your lut simply open photoshop and choose the base lut you can download this base lut link is given in the description box so to create black and white lut simply go down and select gradient map and choose the default color of black and white which is already in photoshop you adjust the color if you want for now i am saving as this and then as i told you click on texture and then plus sign and choose your lut now you can see the differences the color became little bit light dark so like this you can make your luts and add on your effects there are many ways to do so and yes you can try this effect link is given in the description box hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming tutorials till then take care see you soon Bye.